We are inside the Baylor Scott and White Performance Center in Frisco, Texas, right across the street from the Star, where the Dallas Cowboys have their world headquarters and their practice facility. I'm Ron Thulin. Picked to finish second in the East this season is Marshall. And joining us right now is their head coach, Doc Holliday. Doc, good to see you again, Great buddy. Good to see you. Thank you. Also joining us today, Tyree Brady, who just was nominated for the Bolitnikoff Award mm -hmm. in the watch list. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Also joining us, Chase Hancock, who had the most incredible stat of any linebacker I think we saw last year. He only missed five tackles all of last season. Of course, Doc probably would like to see that number go down to one. Oh, but that's beside the point. Um, last year, I th we all got the sense, Coach, after the 2016 season, which was a tough one for you, that you were biting at the bit to get 2017 going. Is that a fair statement? That's a fair statement. You know, we, 216, of course, was unacceptable. We understood that. Uh, we didn't live up to the expectations of our our fan base and our program, and we were anxious to, to get back in 217 and, and get back at it. And, and it started from day one, not only in spring practice of 2017, but I think in the in late July, early August when you started practice, the tone was set, was it not? No, there's no question. I mean, our players take great pride in, in the program and, and what those expectations are. They embrace those expectations, but they also understand Along with those expectations comes responsibility to field a really good football team, and uh, that's what we're expected to do. Well, you beat Colorado State in the New Mexico Bowl. When was the part of the season last year that really you thought this was going to be a good team? Because you started out 6-1. and one, You had wins over Cincinnati and Middle Tennessee. Both of those wins were on the road. But when did you get a sense that this could be a special well, team? Well, I felt early on. You know, I, I felt from the time we got out of, uh, you know, clear back into January. Because you win football games mm -hmm. the way you prepare in January and February in the off season, the winter, spring, and, and now what's happening in the summer. So I felt good all along, uh, you know, going into the season. I felt like our kids uh, – Worked extremely hard. We got a tough bunch that uh, we take great pride in our program. There's nowhere to hide. And we had a bunch of guys that love football and are tough kids. And if you got that, you got a chance. So I felt good going in. I uh, got off to a great start. I uh, didn't finish uh, quite the way we wanted to. But uh, that being said, the win over Colorado State in that bowl right. game gave us a lot of momentum going in the offseason. This shows you how close this team was last year. They lost their Conference USA games by a combined just 19 points. Now you have to replace Chase Litton, your starting quarterback. The most obvious question, and, and I'll be honest, I was surprised. Were you surprised he decided to go to the NFL instead well, of coming back? I, I was surprised. I am happy for him. I mean, he's, he's living his dream. Uh, we, all, we wish him the best. Uh, uh, from what I hear, he's doing a tremendous job with the Kansas City Chiefs, so we wish him well. But uh, we're excited about the quarterbacks we have on campus. Uh, I thought Isaiah and Garrett both did a nice job in the spring. We added Alex Thompson, uh, who got to us in May. Uh, so we're anxious to get going here in a couple of weeks and see how that shakes out. Let's touch on defense in the middle because coming back defensively, you could have – one of the best defensive teams in Conference USA. You have nine starters back. And knowing the way you coach and how your emphasis on defense, the staff that stood out, your minus eight in turnover margin last season. Point of emphasis? Yeah, oh, no question. I mean, you, you know, you got to, you know, you got to, you know, you want to be, of course, you want to be in the plus margin on those turnovers deal. But in order to win championships, you got to play great defense. Uh, for the last five years, we've had a, a bowl eligible team and won those bowl games. We were number most of the three of those four, I think, number one in the conference total defense uh, last year. I think we were one or two. So it's going to start with playing great defense. And uh, we, we know at Marshall that's where it starts. And we've got good players there, and they're going to have to produce this year. We've got both new coordinators on both the offense and defensive side of the ball. On the offense side of the ball, Tim Cramsey comes in. His first year was at Sam Houston State. Had a record-setting year. They had the best na offense in the nation last year. Tell me what Tim, Coach Tim brings to this team. Well, I like number one, I like his confidence. Uh, you know, I like the way he handles the kids. Uh, he's a tremendous coach. He's been very successful wherever he's been. Always stops and uh, came very highly recommended. Uh, I knew a lot of people that did our. Uh, I did my research on Tim. I knew a lot of people that knew him personally. Uh, he's been a great addition to our staff. I know our players love what he's, what he's all about and. Uh, uh, he likes being at Marshall. He likes our players, and I know our players are excited about him. Quick snaps, a lot of passes. I don't want to get into all of that particularly yet. We're trying, to get, <laughs> we're, trying to, we're trying to get into that first game. I'm without, a media guy. I speculate without, for you, okay? You know, without Miami, you know, uh, know exactly what's going, what they're going to see. But, you know, we're going, he's, we're, he's, uh, we're going to be doing a variety of things. There will be some up-tempo stuff. There will be some quick snap stuff. We'll just try to do it all. Adam Fuller, who was the linebacker coach, he moves into the spot as defensive coordinator. It seems to me that linebacker is going to be your deepest position. Well, I, I like our defense overall. And, uh, of course, our linebacker is led by Chase and – and uh, you know all those guys are back, so they, they they're a year older. They need to be a year better. When I hired Chuck Heater, I knew I would lose right. Chuck at some point. Who went on to be the coordinator at Maryland, and uh, hired Adam that year. That same year, he was the defensive coordinator at Chattanooga. So, the transition with Adam being there over this last five years 
has been really smooth on defense. And adding Byron Threep from James Madison mm -hmm. has been a good fit. So uh, I like where we are defensively, and I think Chase will tell you that uh, they're, they're well coached and uh, they'll be ready to go. Tyree, I want to touch base with you. You just yeah. got the word about the Bolitnikoff Award. First thing I asked him is, do you know who Fred Bolitnikoff is? And he said, absolutely he knows who is because that. So you get a brownie point with me for knowing okay. the old guys. <laughs> What was it like when they told you you're up for this award? Um, I mean, it's a blessing, you know, just to see all your hard work starting to get recognized and things like that. So I'm excited about that. But you still got work to do. It's just a preseason. I'm looking forward to going to work. Okay, talk about last year and you. Now you're going to have to do it with a different quarterback. Mm -hmm. Does it matter to you? Because I know there's got to be a certain timing and a relationship between a quarterback and a wide receiver. Yes, sir, and that's why you work on them. That's why you work on them things, and we've been doing that with um, all the quarterbacks and looking forward to count, get things rolling. What are the things that you do very well, and we're seeing some of the highlights from not only you but also from the Marshall offense, and having a couple of your games last year, you're able to stretch the defense. Yes, that's one of the positive sides, but what did you need to work on between the end of last season and now? Um, I felt my routes. I want to get better with my routes, you know. So I really dialed in on that this off season. And just take care of my body like a pro. Yeah, you got a little catch there. So you see, you're getting you're getting a little pub right here yeah. right now. <laughs> I want to go to defense. Chase Hancock missed only five tackles, as we said, all of last season, preseason, first team conference USA. Okay, school me on the mascot again. Because I think Doc was mad at me that I didn't know the name of your mascot. This is Marco. He he usually comes with this. No, but he couldn't make it today, couldn't so this is his fill-in right here. So, and you, you're in charge of, of doing it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I took it upon myself to, to <laughs> make sure that he's with us. <laughs> Coming into this season, and, and last 2016 we talked about that, but last season was, was a very successful year. Probably could have been a little more successful, but you did a great job. You played FAU closer than anybody else in the conference. How about this season coming in, realizing what you could have done last year and how close you were? Uh, I mean, it means a lot to us, you know. Like Coach Doc said, we got some guys coming back, and that's that's a big, that's that's huge. Um, knowing that, you know, you have veteran guys that are able to to just keep the ball rolling, and um, so, we, like Tyree said, you know, we want to get the thing, get this ball rolling, and um, we're just really excited. You know, I went back and looked at tape of of the couple of games I did with you guys, and the, when I saw you on the field. You blanketed the field. You were everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's just, is that in your DNA? Is that something that you're used to? Or yeah, I just there's something about me. I just I just want to win, and you know, so whatever whatever I have to do to help help the team win, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do it. You know, diving diving for for whatever, you know, making a tackle, getting off blocks. It, 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 it doesn't matter. Over 125 total tackles last year, and and you get a little. You got a little pub right there too, by the way. Yeah, that was yeah, good. That was good. Uh, That'll work. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Over 125 total tackles last year. Obviously, the new defensive coordinator was part of the staff last season, so I would think it's a seamless transition. But anything different? No, I mean, it's, it's like you said. It the transition was smooth. Um, Coach Byron stepped right in, and um, his mindset is the same as Coach Fuller's. Um, you know, just go to work and continue to get better and. His expectations are very high. Coach, despite the fact, <clears throat> excuse me, you are bringing some players back, is depth at secondary a concern coming into the season? No, I think we're probably deeper there than we've been in the past. We've got to be young kids. Uh, but the, like the secondary, the corner position, especially the nickel position, uh, there's a position there for a young player to be able to come in and play. So athletically, I think we got the right players there in place. But, again, potential gets you beat. Production right. wins games. So, you know, all this potential we supposedly have, we got to make sure that we get production out of all of them. If we do that, we got a chance. Who's going to be your explosive edge rusher this year? Well, we're excited. Uh, you know, we got uh, Ty Tyler, of course, is back, who's made some plays for us in the past. Uh, Juwan Young is now a, was a linebacker, was a, linebacker. a year ago <coughs> who played well at linebacker. He's going to move to defensive end to give us more athleticism. And we're we're excited about Kobe Cumberland, Ender, and, uh, and, and Hodge, who uh, we think are two good young players that uh, are going to – you know, going to be pretty good players. Are you, are you going to move Ryan B to the inside? Ryan B will play inside. So is that going to be a tough transition for him? No, he played inside a year ago. So oh, he did? Yeah, he played inside a year ago. So uh, he gives us a lot more athleticism inside with him and Hames inside. And then uh, now B is a guy that could go outside and play at times, but we like him inside because of the athleticism. He's 6'7", and, and what, he, what he gives us inside. Now you look at your schedule. You play uh, at South Carolina, and you host North Carolina State the following week. You don't shy away from playing – 
the so-called big schools? Well, we don't. I mean, our kids like they like playing those games, and uh, you know, we've had Purdue at our place a couple mm-hmm. of years ago. Beat Purdue there a couple of years ago, and uh, you know, got uh, NC State coming to our place this year. I think Mike Hamrick and our has done a tremendous job of getting home and homes. You know, we don't play a lot of money games. You know, we play games where we get them to come home and home. We've had we've got Pitt coming there in the future. Right. We've got NC State there this year. Purdue was a couple of years ago. So Navy's coming in. Boise's coming in. So. You know, our, our fan base likes teams like that coming to Huntington, and our players get excited about playing them. Always good to see you, Doc. I wish you nothing but the best of luck this Thanks year, gentlemen. Much.